Hello and welcome to D-Class TV, where you join us on a very sunny day here in Surrey. I'm joined either side by a Mercedes 230SL and a 280SL W113 Pagoda. These cars have come to us, we've done full restorations, and now they're complete and ready to go. Before I take you on a journey onto each one of these cars and how we finished each one, I'd like to just take a moment to show you around how beautifully presented these all are and all the final little touches that we finish with. Before I go into depth showing you around this Mercedes 230 SL, let me take you back to when this car first arrived with us, having work previously carried out to the interior, which wasn't to the customer's satisfaction. I would like to present to you now the Mercedes 230 SL, which has come into us, having had a full nut and bolt interior restoration, but sadly an interior that's been redone, not quite up to the standard the rest of the car is. With the Mercedes-Benz leather models that they did, there should be a small tuck and roll, which should be in place on the door. Two lines, just to finish it off. This one, as you can see, has been done with a stitch face. The piping to the armrest has been finished in the wrong place. There's missing hardware pieces, and the trims on the side have been riveted in instead of being screwed. As you can see, the seats are missing the all-important basket weave perforation. It's a very visual point that all Mercedes of the era had through the centre sections of the seats. And also this top stitch which rolls around over the back of the squab. That detail shouldn't be there. You will notice that the carpet is not that of a period Mercedes. This is in fact Wilton carpet, more commonly used in new Rolls Royces. The binding's wrong, it's not tucked into the seals correctly and the finish around all the items like the gear selector is not as it should be. The dashboard on this car has been trimmed with a detail stitch on the face edge. We see this very, very often, more down to the fact that it's a very hard part to trim. Now that you've seen what we had to deal with and actually how poor the retrim had previously been done to this car, I'd like to take you now into exactly how this car has been finished off. When the customer came down to discuss leathers and options for what he wanted inside of this car, he made the final choice of choosing 1079 Old Timer Red Leather, which working with a graphite paint really sets off all the finer details that these Mercedes had at this time. Though not authentic to the era of this car, we've actually finished this inside with a red twin loop carpet because the customer didn't like the square box weave. Going through all the finer details, more pointing to the fact of what we've done since compared to how this car was originally trimmed. You'll now see the layout of the dash is complete as it should be. All the original pieces on the 230SL on the dash were originally formed in a uh, aluminium, wrapped in a foam and then wrapped over with leather. We've copied this exactly as it should be, no stitching where it shouldn't be, everything nice, tight and finished as it should. Moving on to the seats, as you remember, the ones that were in there previous were in a really poor state. They didn't have the correct box we finished with the stitchings and the holes. And as you saw, the actual rears were held down with cable ties. Now, as you can see, they're fully bolted down, safe, even with brand new seat belts in a red webbing to match the leather on the seats. Creating this original effect requires a lot of time and attention. We take the seats apart, we powder coat them all, we add new foams, and then all the retrimming process starts. The basket weave leather actually comes to us in a flat piece of leather with the embossing already laid on. And then our trimmers in house have to stitch up all of these flutes and stuff them all individually before fitting the covers onto the frames. So some of the extra details that we've put into finalizing the finish of this car is doing the correct finish to the door panels. Originally, when the other ones came in, you would have seen they were all over the place, not how they should have been. We've now got the correct 
two stitch roll finish to the top part of the door, trim the interior part to the window winder handle and finished off all the door bins and the armrests as they should be. Moving on to the carpet, as I previously mentioned, the customer didn't like the square box weave carpet, which should be in the Mercedes 230 SL. Instead, we've gone for the later 250 280 SL twin loop carpet in the same red, um, but the, the customer much preferred the softer look to it and didn't want it to be so raw. Uh, even finishing it off, the original style OEM rubber heel pad just adds it finer details again to what should be you know correct a, a period finish to the car further on we've trimmed the sun visors and trimmed the rear deck lid again in one piece a lot of times you'll see stitching in the sides but this is how they should be finished off so now that we've finished this walk around the 230 sl i'd like to take you to the mercedes 280 sl that we have here this car was actually our pride of place on our Goodwood stand. And now that it's all complete and before it goes to the customer, I'd like to take you through the final finishes and the little details that make this 280SL different to the original 230SL. So now that we've finished with the total nut and bolt restoration of the 230SL, we're moving on to the 280SL. This has had a mechanical overhaul, a full respray, and then finally a full interior retrim. When this one arrived with us, it had a black vinyl Tex trim, original to the car. The owner had owned it for 20 odd years before he finally decided to smarten everything up and get it good again. Additionally, the 280SL has on the dashboards, compared to the 230SL, a plastic formed dash which is slightly more rounded compared to the aluminium 230 SL. So again, we trim this all in, in how it should be when Mercedes did it to the factory, skiving the leather right down so it's all thin and we'll wrap around all of the edges without the need for any stitching. This includes the A pillars as well, which are a plastic formed item compared to the ones that were made from wood on the 230 SL. And they have individual cappings at the top compared to the 230SL, which had just a trimmed metal screen top. The difference with this car, and we've added some extra little features due to the customer liking his, his sounds. This has got a later spec uh, Becca Mexico with sat nav, and we've actually hidden and incorporated as much as we can um, into an also OEM plus feature, is that there's a mid-range speaker system fitted with speakers hidden away in the kick panels with a perforated speaker finish as well as keeping the original shape and and sizing and style that these pagodas have we've added just a tweeter in into the corner here so just to give a little bit of extra sound we know these parts aren't original but keeping everything sympathetic definitely helps further on this car this had an additional uh, factory option buddy seat or third seat um, in the back. They're sideways facing due to give you a little bit of extra leg room where possible. It's still not a lot, but it does help for those that need an emergency um, lift or you know, you're able to take one person out with you. We've added in for safety uh, a buddy belt and also this one features inertia seat belts. For this 280SL we've correctly fitted the twin loop carpet in the red same again oem style rubber heel pad the door cards again feature the correct oem style twin rolled stitching on the top and the 280 sls and the late 250 sls they all get this square handle and lock finish that's how you can differentiate between the early and the late 113s the seats again went through a rebuild process of the springs and assemblies all being stripped down, painted, brand new horsehair pads, and the same stitching and fluting requirements as we did on the 230SL. This car, due to the fact it was used quite a lot in its past, all the woods were tired and worn um, to the point they weren't actually uh, much use. So this has had an aftermarket set supplied and fitted. 
So the thing for us in this car is we're really happy and proud that the customer has seen it and over the moon with the final results. Also, they were very happy that we selected to use their car for our very first Goodwood Revival show. The car went down an absolute storm and it was great to show what we could do and our capabilities there at Goodwood. During the three days we had our stand overcrowded with people trying to see us on sewing machines, how we do the work, getting to discuss the types of things we do, not just on Mercedes but all our trimming in general. Now that it's finished it will leave here and it's will this car and they will both go off to their respective owners. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to let any friends and family know exactly what we're up to. Follow us on social media, our Instagram channel is always full of the newest projects and there's much more exciting content on the way. Thank you for now and enjoy the sun.